ever talked to somebody with a lazy eye before? One eye was looking straight at me, the other eye was looking at the damn moon. So, I mean, I didn't talk to And dude was cute. He was handsome. He just had a lazy eye that, that literally was looking to the east. So... today's vlog but first we have a sponsor before we can actually get into the vlog and today's sponsor is nadula hair this is how your unit comes packaged it comes in this nice box right here you also do get a couple of free items it came with a headband and it also came with a wig cap and this is the unit that i am reviewing today um i am doing another straight out of the box unit so I did not bleach these knots. Of course, I will be plucking the unit. You gotta pluck or it's gonna look crazy. Some girls might know how to finesse it without plucking it, but me, I have to pluck my edges. I need to pluck my part. I gotta do all that. So this is how it looks. This is the curl pattern. This is the color of the unit. This is how the lace looks, the baby hairs that come with it. Of course, I'm gonna adjust all of that and make my own. So yeah, if you wanna see how this hair is going to look on your girl, how I style it. Stay tuned. curled the curls held so good like I knew because of the wave pattern that the hair was gonna curl easy and it did look at this silky smooth easy curls oh uh, look, look at that look at the way that fell do y'all see this do you see this <laughs> wow 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 mmm Okay, so literally I curled my hair in probably like seven or eight minutes. Um, I did pluck the edges of the uh, unit. I did not bleach the unit. I told you guys I was doing this like a straight out of the box hair. Let's take that off. Okay. Um, so I did, like I said, no bleaching of the knots. I did just put a little bit of um, uh, powder on the inside of the lace to kind of camouflage the knots a little bit. Of course, it's not gonna camouflage them like perfect, perfect. If you want that melt perfect, you're definitely gonna have to bleach your knots and do a lot more plucking than I did. But I feel like literally this is 30 minute hair. This is less than 30 minutes. I think this is like 20, maybe it's like 20, 25 minute hair. I, I definitely have not been sitting here for 30 minutes. Plucking took all of 10 minutes. Um, making my part and my baby hairs, five minutes. Putting the powder all in the lace. I did take my time putting that powder in the lace, so that took like five or 10 minutes. And then eight minutes, seven minutes curling my hair, and this is the final result. Like, hello, hello, this is cute. Like, I'm ready for the weekend, I'm ready for the day. Um, the hair is thick. The density is nice and full. Like I said, the hair just curled so easily. Look at this. It curled so easily. And if I run my fingers through it, look, the curls just bounce back. 
bounce back curls. Bounce back, bounce back. <laughs> this that bounce back, bounce that bounce back. <laughs> Let me stop being silly. Um, I probably will put a little bit of concealer in my part just to kind of help camouflage everything and make it look a little bit more seamless. But all in all, this was a very easy wig to do. Nadula hair, I've literally never had an issue with Nadula hair. Their shipping is extremely fast. They respond back super quick and their units are always bomb. Like the proof is in the pudding. Just look at this hair. So I absolutely love this. I'm very impressed as always. You guys, I will have a coupon code down below. They are having a huge sale that's about to start. A huge sale, so definitely check out the links. If you don't wanna get this color hair, you don't have to. They have blonde hair, they got red hair, they got brown hair, they got natural colored hair, they got body wave, they got tight curls, they got kinky curly, anything you want. They have different styles of hair, like Brazilian hair, Malaysian hair, Indian hair, whatever you want, whatever you're looking for, they have. They have lace frontals, lace closures, bundles, all that girl. Everything will be down below in the description box. Make sure to check them out. Let me know what you guys think of this unit and this color. And I have a date tonight, so your girl gonna be looking good. <laughs> All right guys, on to the vlog. What's up guys? Welcome to a new vlog. Please tell me why I'm picking up my camera at 11.30 at night. Please tell me. Y'all hear music, I'm watching Dana Alexia. Young black chick doing her thing. Y'all check her out. She's a Canadian girl. I actually had somebody say, why do you shout out so many YouTubers? Like it's 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 becoming desperate at this point. I'm, I don't remember the exact words or like clout chasing. Something she was saying, I'm just like, because I shout people out. I never tell you guys to go and say, hey, Gina sent me, Gina sent me. Um, Gina likes your channel too, so you should check out hers. I've, I've never expected anything back in return. I just want to put you guys on to who I like watching. And this is our livelihood. This is what we do for a living. So if I could help out one black girl to get an extra subscriber, some more views, I'm going to do that. Like, how am I clout chasing? I just, I don't know. These are people who I actually watch. Like, anyway, I'm just, I went on a little Dee Dee's tour today. And when I say Dee Dee's tour... Like, I went to three different DDs. So I just want to show you guys some of the stuff that I got. Um, yeah. So I got these slides. Y'all like these? Are these cute or nah? Like, I don't know how I feel about them. They have like rhinestones here and then silver studding here. Thought they were cute. I have a new bag that I got, guys. A new designer bag. I'm going to show you guys in a second after I show you guys this little stuff. Then I got this. Where am I gonna put this? I don't know. I thought it was cute, like, but this yellow is now throwing me off. Underneath the flowers, why isn't it all cream? Why did y'all have to put in some yellow? Like, that was dumb. Anyways, but it was $9.99, so I'm still debating on that one. Debating on these, these were $8.99. Now I got these, which I thought were so cute. So cute, look. You can put your liquor in these. I thought this was so cute, but I don't even drink dark liquor. So I don't know what I'm gonna put in it. I don't know. I, I just be buying sometimes, but they were only $4.99 each. So they had two different styles. So I just bought this style. I wanted them both to match. And they had another one that was like, the whole thing was kind of like decorated like that. So, but yeah. Okay, now let me show you these pants that I have on. Got these from Dee Dee's. These were on clearance for $6. Look at these. Just some like black and white plaid um, joggers. I thought they were cute. And then I just put them on with this um, Zara top. And then I have on my Prada slides. My Prada bag. I thought this was just like a cute little, I don't know, fun outfit for when it gets hot outside. $6. Where's the tag? This is the tag for the pants. They were originally $8.99 at Dee Dee's, but they were on clearance for $6.49. So, yeah, I like these. They had different colors also. I probably should have got the other colors too. Then I got these denim jeggings. Y'all can't tell. They probably just look like some regular leggings, but they're actually denim. They're a denim material. I don't know if I like these. 
Mm. I don't know. They're just plain black jeggings, but I still, I don't know. I don't know if I like them. I mean, what's not to like? They're black. Oh. So this is a two-piece swim cover-up. Y'all can tell it's like mesh with like some pretty colors. This was too small. It's a size medium and it's also too short. I got it up, but it gave me like the hugest camel toe. And then the the bottom of the pants are like five inches above the ankle. I looking like goddamn Steve Urkel. So that's going back. Now this, it looks like it fits pretty good, but then look how short they are. Like I always, look at that, tall girl problems. But I mean, when I tell you guys it's so soft, it fits against the back. There's no like pulling here, no gapping. That's a big thing, but just too short. I'm annoyed. And this was only $9.99, but it's going back as well. Oh, this is cute. <sighs> okay, this is the next one. It is, I don't know if you can tell, but it's olive and white striped. Tube top, midi dress. Um, This was $7.99. I got it in a size large. I don't know how I feel about it, y'all. I don't know. Of course, you know, body is popping per usual, but I just, I don't know. Should I just keep it in my closet or go get my $7.99 back? Because I'm really like, do I even really like this? I don't know if I like it. Y'all, I'm not trying this one on, but this is that Amazon dress that I told you guys about. I think I featured it in my last two vlogs. I have literally every color, but it's the Amazon dress. It's um, fantails at the bottom and it drags the floor. It's like the perfect maxi dress for tall girls because it covers your feet. So I just ordered it in army green. So it just came in from Amazon. I will link it down below. But if you a real watcher, you will have already seen this in all the like other colors so this ain't new to the channel let me show you guys a prime example of how you can buy something from a brand the exact same style just in different colors and the sizing is so different i wish i had tried this one on for you guys i might put it back on i don't feel like putting it back on let me just show you you see this two-piece graffiti set super cute only 12.99 and it's by this brand love mood i got it in a size medium it's so freaking cute high-waisted and if you can kind of see right here it kind of goes down in like a little v on your stomach now let me show you what i have on now look at this the exact same outfit same brand it's just a different color this was in a size large that's in a medium a large and look at this look at this i cannot get over my hips look at that look look that's crazy. That is crazy. And the medium fits nice and high rise. Like it literally comes up four inches higher than this one. And this one's just all the way to my crotch. Like what, what? But I am confused. Like this is probably the worst like sizing mishap that I've ever had. Like this is crazy. Look at that. Just booty just coming out, spilling out the top. Okay, I finally hung everything up. It's literally 12.15 midnight and I'm up like it's freaking two o'clock in the afternoon. Like this is crazy. Still debating on that little flower arrangement thingy. I don't know, when I see something cute and it's a good price, it's just like, oh, Jenny, you gotta have it. You have to get it. And it don't even be like my style. It don't even match with anything. So. Yeah, just buying stuff just to buy it because it's a good deal. In the long run, it ends up you wasting your money because, oh, hold on y'all, let me hang this up. Because it just sits there and then you don't even use it. You don't even wear it. Look at these, Um, I just got these from, um, what's it called? Uh, AliExpress, can y'all see? My lighting in my closet is so ugly. Y'all will have to see them on. They're super cute. There are some Bottega dupes. Little three inch heel right up my alley. They are, they don't look like nothing in my hand, but baby, when they own, they own, they look good. So I ordered these 
and then because they fit so good they came in yesterday because they fit so good i ordered um two more pairs Oh, let me show y'all not my new bag. Oh, y'all, and I started using this toothpaste right here. This Hello toothpaste. Love it. Game changer. White teeth. White on white. Yes, I have veneers, but they just make your mouth feel just and look just so much cleaner. Let me just show you guys my little bag collection. It's, it's small. It's not, you know, where it needs to be just yet. But let me show you guys the new addition. Y'all already know I keep all of my designer stuff like in the same area. Like these are all like my all my three. I have three pairs of Gucci socks. These are my designer sneakers here. These are just like regular sneakers there. But then I got more designer sneakers here at the bottom. And then these are like my Louis Vuitton bracelets, Louis Vuitton scarf, Louis sunglasses. I have some designer hats, my belt. Prada bucket hat. I'm probably going to be selling this soon because I freaking hate it. My little Louis Vuitton clutch that I've never used. It came with my never full. And then just YSL, YSL Prada, Louis, 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 YSL. Skipping that one. My Chanel, that big, big boy Chanel. Then my Prada. And then I got Louis Vuitton fanny packs back there. But y'all... This is my new baby. Look, my first Givenchy. <gasps> Look how freaking cute. Oh, there's like a little dent right here. Probably from it, yeah, being up against the chain of that. But this is my first Givenchy. I love it. It's called the Antagona. It's in silver. I got it from Fashion File. So Fashion File, you can buy um gently used designer items for cheap. I think I paid... 1100 for this and it usually retails for 2000 so and it looks brand new smell brand new i can't wait to wear it love it oh my gosh i love it so much they have it in hot pink also i think i want to go back and get the hot pink but for those of y'all who follow me on instagram y'all would have seen it already because i did a reel i did a reel the day that i got it so and those clear shoes that I showed you guys that I was like, I don't know if I need those or, or not, they go with that silver bag. So, I don't know. I have so many shoes from Dee Dee's that I have not even worn yet. Look at these. These I love so much. These I love. I think these are kind of like a Bottega dupe also. Never wore them. Have I worn these? Nope. Haven't worn these yet either. Well, those are the ones I just showed you guys. Got these from the Zara sale. These were $60, but I got them for $19.99. So cute. And they're square toe. Look at that. I literally just have, I have so much crap. Oh, y'all. Here's my um my skims stuff just sitting right here for me to wear. And I think I want to do like a full like skims like review, like a real full skims review. Because if y'all didn't know, skims had a 50% off sale that just ended yesterday. If you missed it, oh my God, because it went on for about five days, I want to say. When I tell you guys I cleaned up, I spent like $500 on skims. <laughs> so y'all will be seeing a... Oh, Skims Hall coming soon. They just sent the um uh the thing today that has been shipped. So everything was 50% off. Like that was amazing. Like that was the best sale. It came with a free gift. Of course, you get you're gonna get free shipping because you're gonna spend over a hundred dollars. So yeah, girl. Okay, y'all. I think I'm about to go to bed now. I'm about to go to bed. I'm talking too much. I got to be up in the morning. I got a lot to do tomorrow to take the kids to school. Ethan's Zoom Awards for his class is at 9 a.m. I have a facial at 10 a.m. Ashton's Zoom Awards for her class is at 1.45. Then I'm not taking the kids to daycare anymore. So uh, I have to be at their school at 3.30 to pick them up. I wanted to go look at some rims for my car. So I don't know how I'm going to do everything tomorrow. 
Remember how I said I was going to sleep? I lied. I'm literally packing orders. Um, one of my recent blogs, I said, can y'all buy my stuff? Like, I have all this stuff on Poshmark. Can y'all buy my stuff, please? And y'all buy my stuff. So, I'm packing orders. I have a lot more to add to my Poshmark as well. Um, I have, like, a really big pile that I'm adding this week. Once that pile is added, then I'm going to do my wig sale. And I think I'm going to do my wig sale just on Poshmark just because it's... I don't want to give Poshmark all my money, but it's just so much easier for me just because I already have my Poshmark account set up. I already have like, instead of me trying to just go and, and build my, uh, another website, like I don't want to do that. Poshmark is just so easy. Maybe Depop. It seems like Depop, a lot of girls are getting into that. I need to look in to see if maybe those fees are cheaper than Poshmark. I don't know, but it seems like a lot of girls are getting into Depop as well, so... Let me just show you guys how I print. This is my little setup. That's my printer. That's the um, paper, label paper. I, um, bags, like this is a really huge bag. This is like, this is like an in-between size and then the purple are like smaller sizes. And then these are like my bags that I use to carry my packages in. So let me just put that over there. So I'll put the packages in that. And then this is the stuff that I'm selling as of right now. Like I said, I have another huge pile in my room that I just need to add pictures to and upload. Mark everything off. Even though I haven't dropped in the mailbox yet, girl, I'm still going to mark that because I'm going to do it in the morning. And then you click, yay, it shipped. The download shipping label. And the shipping label pops up. I'm just go down, hit print. And we print. And it's a sticker. So all you do is just stick it to your package and we're done. Add it to the pile, throw that away, then you're on to your next one. So before I got this, I was printing them out on my regular printer, girl on um, printer paper, cutting them and then using like clear masking tape to girl it was a whole mess i said i have to invest in this little setup right here and i only spent probably maybe i don't know 70 dollars on the printer the paper and the paper holder so worth it so let me get that organized um like i said my other poshmark stuff will be listed this week by the time this video goes out it should go out by tomorrow this video should go out by tomorrow I'm lying. Why am I talking about tomorrow? I'm thinking about another. I'm tired, y'all. This video not going to go out by tomorrow. I already have a, my Denver vlog should be going up by tomorrow. Then I have a sit down chat video. Hopefully that goes up by like Friday. This video probably ain't going to go up till next week. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, by the time this video go up, y'all may have missed the Poshmark. But I tell you about it all the time. Anyway. All right. Let me organize my life. Good morning, besties. It is a Wednesday morning. I'm tired, y'all. I'm tired. I was just up till 2 a.m. for no reason. Y'all saw I, I filmed most of it. <laughs> but um, I took the kids to school this morning. I went to the post office to drop off those packages. Um, Uh-oh. Hold on. Let me mute myself. Y'all, I'm doing a... Um, it's a Zoom thing for Ethan's award ceremony. Miss Calvert, I can hear you. Okay, I'm muted. Okay, thank you. Yes, I can hear you too. Okay. One day I want to be an animator so I can make art for people. I also want to be a YouTuber like my mom. I would like to own a pit bull like my dad. I really enjoy art and drawing. My favorite color is light blue. My favorite sport is soccer. I like I like making new friends and folks. Turn around, stand right there. Okay, so Ethan. Ethan gets a certificate for passing fourth grade. And his classmates voted him most artistic. Baby. Evan, <laughs> could you come on up? Here we are. The fourth grade homeroom class. Um, thank you, parents, for joining us. That was so cute. Oh, <sighs> another school year finished. 
now we have Ashton's at 145. So I'm about to get dressed for my facial. What do I need to do? Do I need to do anything else? I'm hungry. I have this package that I just picked up today from, um, let me open it with you guys real quick. I picked it up from my P.O. box. This is where I put my flowers, y'all. Look. I don't know. It's looking retarded and dipped and laid to the side from this angle. Hold on. Child, I don't know if I'm going to keep this. I'm about to need to get my little $10 back. I don't know. See this yellow? It keeps throwing me up. The way the yellow's throwing me off, I, it's it's like I'm, I might as well just go ahead and just return it because it's it's bothering me that much. I mentioned it last night. I mentioned it again this morning. <sighs> I don't know. Um, yeah. So this was in my PO box. It says raw indulgence. Let's hope it's some food or some candy or something. Look at me. I'm smelling the box like it's really some some food or something. When I hear of indulgence to me, I, indulgence, I just think of food automatically. My fat ass. Uh, Raw Rev has a long history of supporting art, creativity, health, environment, and other important causes. We value your opinion. What is this? Oh, okay. So this is from like an actual like company company. This isn't from a small business. Ooh. Okay. So it's a bunch of protein bars. Ooh, it's a lot of protein bars. Okay, so creamy peanut butter and sea salt. Birthday cake, that's 13 grams of protein. This one's 12 grams of protein, double fudge brownie. Okay, so they're protein bars. The company is called Raw Rev. And you want to try them out, guys. There's a coupon. So that's that. Now I'm about to get ready. Because my appointment's in 25 minutes. See, there's the alarm right there. Okay, so this is today's fit. This is the one from last night that I told you is a size medium that fits so good. But the size large, the exact same brand, same style, couldn't pull over my hips. So this is it. $12.99 from Dee Dee's. Super cute. Um, I love the little V detail. I don't think you can really see it that good, but it's like it goes in a V at the waist. Then my St. Laurent uh, college bag that I got from Fashion File. Super cute. It's just not snapped right now. Then this crop denim jacket I got from Shein. Then I got on some Nike Air Max. This kind of got a lot going on because they got like look smiley faces in the bag. It's just a lot going on. Anyway, so I'm about to head to my facial right now, guys. I'm gonna try to record a little bit while she's doing my skin, but you ought to know how I do. I'm gonna try to take a nap. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna try to take a nap before them extractions start. facial not like it is the best facial I think I've ever had wow 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 oh okay so my facial I got it done at the same lady who does my lashes at the same um lash studio they do facials they do full body massages 
Wow. I wish I could film everything that she did. Like it was so much that I feel like my skin really just got pampered. <laughs> I almost forgot I had this thing on my head. Okay, my edges stayed protected during my facial. What? Every time I pick the camera. Oh, it's my friend texting about the gun range. I'm going today, my cousin. All right, whenever you want. Sweet. Oh, yeah, I need to go to the gun range. I got a whole gun that I don't even know if it's loaded correctly. I don't know how to use it. I don't know nothing. I mean, of course, when I bought it, the man in Academy, like, showed me the basics. But I, I literally don't know how to use my gun. So, I need to go to the gun range. So, he's talking about maybe we'll go tomorrow or sometime this week. We'll see. I'm about to go get my free smoothie from Smoothie King. They sent me a thing. For a free watermelon, strawberry watermelon smoothie. Sounds so good. Um, of course, my battery on my camera is about to die, which is so crazy because I charged it up. Like, I charged my camera all night and I only recorded barely anything today. So maybe my battery is dying out. I have no clue, but that's disappointing. Um, damn, that's really disappointing. So I'm right by my house. I'm about to get my smoothie. I'm gonna go change my battery. I hate going home. Hey, are y'all like this? Even though I'm literally, literally one light away from my house, I don't like going home because once I'm home, I want to be at home. I want to take my shoes off. I want to take my jacket off. I want to slide my wig back. Like, so I'm literally, what I'm going to do is, so I won't have that type of, uh, back in action. And that cut out earlier in the middle of me talking. But we back in action. Uh, close my garage. I'm about to eat one of those um, protein bars that the company sent me. This flavor is creamy peanut butter and sea salt. With 15 grams of protein. 14 grams of fiber. Only 2 grams of sugar. It's raw. It says raw inside and out. I don't know what the heck that... Oh no, nah, I don't think I can eat this. Why does it look like that? It's wet. Why is it wet? Why is it wet? Why is it, y'all see that? Why is it wet? It smells good though. It's really raw, like. that right on back in the package let me say this it's not nasty not sweet at all so if you're looking for something sweet that ain't it it's not nasty it's the texture i'm big on textures textures y'all see my phone y'all peep my phone how every time i pick my camera up within the first like 60 seconds i get a text message or a call like i just hope y'all are peeping this and i'm just not complaining because I'm a complainer. Anyway, uh, yeah, that texture. I mean, look at the texture. Let me show y'all. Y'all see that? It's like it's like cookie dough. What the fuck? Yeah, it's like cookie dough. It's pliable. Like. I don't know. All right, so I'm about to go find a rim shop so I can price some rims. I probably won't get them today just because I got to pick up the kids in the next two hours. Um, but at least I can know a price and like a location. So whenever I do decide, not whenever I do, if I get, if the pricing is right and they have the style that I want, then I would probably go back tomorrow or Friday, you know. But, um, so that's why I'm about to head now. Why is this car in front of me driving so slow? Why? Oh my God. Okay, I'm about to go around.
behind you, ma'am, sir, whoever you are. Um, yeah, that's the plan. don't want to be bothered okay, I need to be picked up around four girl you better hold your horses somebody need to be picked up around four hold your horses relax relax you asked me to do something last minute you might wait relax anyway um so let me tell you guys I just want to update on like my dating life first of all anybody who's new here um i was in a five-year relationship i was engaged to be married um he is featured my ex-fiance is featured on my old old vlogs we broke up it's been i say a year it's been a little bit over a year it was like um, april march april when we um broke up of 2020 so i've been we're just only on june 2nd so i've been single for a year so I've just been uh, dating. There was this guy named Trill who I dated for a while. Y'all heard about him, our little escapades and our ups and downs and stuff. Um, me and him started dating. We've been, we've been, we've actually dated on and off since 2008. <laughs> Crazy, right? Yeah, dated on and off since 2008. But this go around, we were way more serious. Like, serious. Like, we were like talking about our future together. We told each other we love each other. We were together pretty much every single day. Like we went on trips together. Like we, we, we did a lot in our, in this short amount of time because me and him reconnected about a month after me and my uh, ex fiance broke up. And then things just started, you know, fizzling out. Things with him changed. He just acted like he's just so busy. Work comes first, work, work, work. He's a, um, Grammy nominated um, songwriter and producer. So, um, but we, we nicknamed him Trill because <laughs> I don't need anybody in my business. Um, so, yeah, things fizzled out with him around the beginning of February because we were together for Valentine's Day. We were together for the, for the ice storm that hit Houston and then probably about two weeks after that. So in February, things fizzled out between us just because I can't, I'm not put on being put on the back burner. You can make time for every, everything and everybody else. I need my time. This is how we started off. We started off spending all this time together. You know, so that's that. <coughs> and we never fell out. <clears throat> so me and his, him, his track record, we might reconnect that later on down the line again. Because that's just what me and him do. It's so crazy. And it might be semi-toxic. I don't know, but... Anyway, we never fell out. We never had any words between each other. He just always just like, you don't understand. You don't understand. Blah, blah, blah. No, I don't understand because in the beginning, you had all the time for me. Now it's, I got to do this. I got to do that. Meet me at the studio where you can always come to the studio. Me. I don't want to sit up in your studio while you working all the time. No, take me out. Plan something. Do No. Mm -mm. Okay, so now I've just been dating. I've been on lots of dates, nothing serious with anybody. Um, I think I've told you, I haven't named anybody. <laughs> like I haven't given anybody a nickname, but I've been on a few dates with um, like people that I've been meeting. Um, so yeah, I actually have another date coming up with this guy who has been trying to talk to me on Instagram so I finally gave him my number y'all I, I don't know how I feel about this and let me tell you why all of buddy's pictures he's wearing sunglasses he's wearing sunglasses in all his pictures and me I'm the type of person but I can let me he wearing sunglasses but I can tell he's handsome he dresses nice he, you know he got some swag to him um I just don't know if he got a lazy eye I don't know if he got a glass eye I don't know if he missing an eye, which if I know in advance that something is wrong with your eye, then it's cool. I'm not going to be shocked and, and stare at you when we finally do meet up. But if I don't know and you walk in the restaurant with shades on, first of all, I'm going to say you need to take those shades off. Like, why you got shades on in the restaurant? And then second, when I see it and I didn't know in advance, it's kind of going to, I'm, I'm going to be like, what the fuck? 
and not that I'm just one of them people that looks are everything. Looks are very important to me. Like, I could be vain. I'm going to be vain. Like, I'm going to be, you know, so looks are important. Period. For me. But I, I done talked to somebody with a lazy eye before. One eye was looking straight at me. The other eye was looking at the damn moon. So, I mean, I done talked to And the dude was cute. He was handsome. He just had a lazy eye that, that literally was looking to the east. So... But I just, I just want to know, and I don't want to say, send me a picture with your sunglasses off. <laughs> I don't know. I want to just, I'm kind of trying to get out of my ways a little bit and not think, have like looks be so important. I was just about to say, well, money is not that important. Money is going to always be important to me. Y'all going to have y'all, which I desire in a man, want a man, look for a man. Money is always going to be up there. Like money is more important than his height i'm a, and i'm five nine but money is more important than height anyway so yeah so me and him he's been trying to like go on this date with me and i've kind of been giving him the run around a little bit i think he watches my vlogs i don't give a fuck though whatever um but the way he we finally talked on the phone yesterday and the way he was talking to me i did not like it he talked to me like i'm uh, we about to have a business to get like I'm a business partner or something Just real like uppity uptight real proper like before we got off the phone. He was like, um, oh Yeah, before we um in this phone conversation. Is there um, anything else you need from me? Is there anything else I need from you now? Nigga? It's the first of the month. You want to pay my rent like what, what you mean? Is there anything else I need am I gonna need from you like? This is not a job interview. This is not a, I mean he might be taking it as a job interview I don't know. I don't know. Y'all know me. I like my dudes a little rough around the edges. If y'all didn't, if y'all didn't, couldn't tell that already. I like my dude rough around the edges. I don't like no prim, proper, like Kevin Samuels, how he's like, you, you know, you get this type of upper echelon man. I don't, all my niggas I talk to, everybody I talk to is rich. I only talk to men with money. But every, every man I talk to with money is rough around the edges. They either they started from the bottom, made it to the top. They just street dude or what, whatever, you know, whatever they are. Like I said, my my last real, wasn't a relationship because we didn't have titles, but Trill, street dude, but he made it. He made it out the streets. He, like I said, he's a Grammy nominated producer. He's working on an album literally right now. I don't know if right now, right now, but in January, and February, he was working on songs with Drake. Like he's a rich nigga. But um, I just, I, I don't know. It's something about that I can't, because me, I like to have fun. Okay, anyway, my camera overheated because it was sitting on my dashboard and I guess the sunlight is just right on it. Anyway, um, I don't even remember where I left off at because I had to let my camera cool down. But um, yeah, he just, he just kind of was talking to me just too prim and proper and um, he's going to get like a country hood chick. Like, not a hood chick I'm because I'm definitely not hood ghetto i've never was raised in the hood or ghetto so i don't even want to say that about myself but i'm i'm country i like to laugh i like to go out and have fun i'm not gonna be sitting up just prim proper just the most like girly girl no i i have fun and i think that's another reason why so many men freaking fall in love with me is because i'm literally not like your average chick i'm not like but he just texts me and he says something let me read it to y'all hold on hold on i just seen the word palette <laughs> okay so he says he just sent me the link to a restaurant he's just said so if this fits both of our palettes it's been on my bucket list saturday at 7 30. so he's taking more initiative than the other dude who supposedly broke his wrist at least he has a place, a time, and a date set up. You know, it's, it's, you know. So, that might, I don't know, y'all. Ah, a mosquito, what the hell? How the hell a mosquito get in my car in the daytime? Mosquitoes usually don't come out at night. Um, so yeah, I guess me and him are going out on Saturday. <laughs> Uh, but y'all, I was just saying all this to say to those of you who are new to my channel, like, I'm not looking for a relationship. 
I'm not. Like, I've been single. I was in a relationship for five years. I got out of that five-year relationship and jumped into a relationship with Trill for about eight, nine months. You know, even though with Trill, I was, you know, I was still dating. Not as much as I'm dating now because I really had deep feelings for, for Trill. It just, I just don't put all my eggs in one basket because we never had titles for each other. So yeah, I was still dating. <sighs> yeah. So I'm just single. I'm having fun. I'm dating around. If a relationship was to happen and I felt that connection with somebody, of course I would not, I would not deny it, but, um, I'm just not, I'm not looking for love. Like I'm not out looking for love. I'm, I, I have literally had the best year of my life since I've been single. Like I've had like the like financially, emotionally, just everything all around. What? Y'all gonna put y'all down for a second? I'm watching I'm Ashton's uh, uh, Zoom award on my phone. Face to face and you were willing to come to school, feel safe. I thought they'd be doing it in alphabetical order. Um, so Ashton would have been first. Her first name begins with an A and her last name begins with an A, but they're not. <laughs> and y'all, this drink from Smoothie King is so good. It's called the Watermelon Hydration. Definitely recommend 10 out of 10. It's bomb. This angle makes me look crazy. Look at Ashton. This ain't starting off good. There's no parking. I'm literally just parked like, and I just called and I said, where's the parking? Mm, Ma'am, no more parking, no more parking. Then hang up in my damn face. Shit. Let's see. I really, against my better judgment, shouldn't be coming in here. Honestly, because I'll be probably spending about three, four thousand dollars Y'all want to hang up in my goddamn face. I bought rims from here a long, long time ago. Uh, I'm looking for white rims. White rims. Yeah, white. white. I don't have any stack. I need to paint it for you. You would have to paint them? Yes. What kind of car do you have? A Range Rover. Range Rover. I've got this one. Black with machine. 24. Uh, the biggest it can go is 22. I got 22 right there. But I'm looking for white though. I don't want... Um, I can paint them. How much extra is it for painting? Those the rings, those rings and tires, it costs us twenty five hundred. But mm. the paint, I want like seven hundred more, like thirty two hundred. Thirty two hundred. Mm -hmm. How long does that take? Uh, like, uh, four days to paint it. Four days. Mm -hmm. This is the only kind that you can paint. Yes, sir. that one or whatever you want. This one can be painted. And this will be uh, twenty-two. Yes. With a, and would it be the same around the same price? Mm -hmm. Yeah. See. What about Pedro? Okay, so he gave me the price. What the hell? What? Oh, the hose is out hoeing. Y'all see that? They on the stroll early, baby. They be on the stroll early. Um, so I, I have my heart set on white rims. He was kind of like, I'm hungry. Do I want some Popeyes? Anyway, he was kind of like, he was like, white rims get so dirty. I'm gonna have to dip them for you. This and that, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I don't really care about all that. I'm, I'm gonna keep my car clean anyway I always I'm always at the car wash I ain't always at the car wash but I plan on keeping this white car clean um so he was just like you know it's a hassle da, da, da. you might as well just get black I I don't think he wants to 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 do the work you know what I mean because you would be making an additional seven hundred dollars off of me by dipping them but you're kind of trying to, to deter me from what I want, what I came in, what I have my heart set on. But anyway, I just put a poll on Instagram with white Range Rovers. One uh, had white rims on it and one had black rims on it. So I'm going to see what, I'm going to see what the people say. I'm going to see what the people say. But I had my heart set on white rims. 
and I was talking to one of my friends about it and he was like yeah white rims would set it off so I'm like that kind of confirmed it for me you know but I'm gonna take everybody's opinion into account I, I knew I wouldn't get it today because it takes an hour and a half to put rims on anyway and I got to pick up the kids it's 240 and they get out of school at 330 so I ain't have time anyway but I'll, pricing is about what I was gonna pay um, getting the rims dipped the tires the wheels and getting them dipped 3200 so um not bad i might try to hit a one more rim shot i don't know maybe i'll just wake up early tomorrow and go to a another rim shop like by the gallery or something i think they got a few rim shops out that way i don't know no i'm hungry and i'm getting hangry so i need to eat something real quick before i pick them up because my my, my stomach is touching my back at this point i'm at dds and look dds has american apparel leggings for $4.99. Oh my goodness. The quality is so good. I'm gonna see if they have my size. Extra large is too big for me. Here we go. I found them in a large. I wonder how these fit. Man, this quality feels so good. $4.99 for American Apparel. Here's the tip. Before companies started sending me like denim jackets and free stuff, I used to come to Dee Dee's get a little denim jacket for like ten dollars i would crop it wash it and yeah and this is like good quality you can tell it was some type of name brand that they just leaked it, that they scratched out but y'all can come to dds and get cheap denim jackets because most denim jackets are like thirty dollars come get you a cheap one girl Oh, look. No, I'm so glad you're dead. I was like, that's how I was like, I was getting in the car and going to look like that. When I tell y'all it's hot, it's hot. <laughs> Lord. So I found two pair of the uh, American Apparel leggings. I'll probably try them on for you guys later. I found a tan colored um, bodycon midi dress. Those are always. And it's ribbed, so those are always like a hit or miss. But uh, I have been addicted to these recently. When I went yesterday to Dee Dee's, I got um, a white vanilla flavor. Look. Oh my God, can I have one? <sighs> is it chocolate? Yes, it is. And I got chocolate hazelnut. Mm. No, these are the best. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. Here you go, some more. Grab like two or three. Ethan, you want one? No. You sure? I cannot believe they had American Apparel in there. I've seen Fashion Nova in there as well. Y'all check out DDs. Then my kids have been driving me crazy about these jelly fruits. They're like a TikTok thing, so I told Ethan y'all gotta split these. Okay. There's no Aldi next to me where we live. But there's an Aldi like a couple lights down from this DD. So I'm going to stop by there because everybody keeps telling me Aldi has very cheap candles that make your house smell extremely good, just like Bath and Body Works candles, except they're like three or four dollars each. So, but I heard they like stock every Tuesday and they sell out in like two days. So I'm going to just pass by, try my luck, hopefully. But, um, y'all. Make sure you scan all of your receipts. I'm about to scan my receipt right now with Fetch Rewards. Fetch Rewards is a free app. No, this is not sponsored. I just like putting y'all on stuff to where y'all can get free money. But Fetch Rewards, Fetch Rewards is a free app where you scan all of your receipts, no matter if it's from a grocery store, retail shopping, a bank receipt, Walgreens receipt, doctor's office, dentist visit, wherever. You scan all your receipts and then you get points. So like mine is going, going, and it yay i got 25 points so i'm gonna leave my code on the screen and it's always in the description box as well with your first scam if you use my code to sign up you get a free two dollars which is two thousand points okay y'all can be ghetto like me pick up receipts off your um in the parking lot of a store go to your mama house your cousin house your boyfriend house your girlfriend house ask them for their receipts scan them there's even a button where you make online purchases through amazon you get those points too so fetch rewards 
use my code get you that free two dollars and girl just scan 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 and you can just convert them into gift cards and you can get your free starbucks you can get free neiman marcus gift card you can get all kind of free gift cards target gift cards whole foods visa gift cards mm. they actually need to sponsor me i actually emailed them what's funny i emailed them about a month ago asking for a sponsorship because i'm always telling y'all about them and i have been using them myself for like two years now but um i emailed them they never responded back I guess they like she gonna do the free promo anyway. Why 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 we gotta pay her to promote it? She gonna do it anyway. I am because I love y'all. So, mommy. Yes, my love. My friend said that I would. I need to get a summer job. Your friend said you need to get a summer job. Mhm. Mm yeah. That I should sell paint and then make lemonade. You're eight. You don't need a summer job. Mhm. Mm so this is my first time walking in Aldi. This place is the size of a Walgreens. How weird. Baby, yeah, these are some rough looking mangoes. Oh my God, these mangoes done been through. Look at that. These are some zombie mangoes. Okay, let's see if I can find the candles without asking anybody. Ooh, pound cake for $2.50. That looks good. Banana nut. Ooh, croissants. Hold up, I said I'm coming in here for candles and that's it. Let's see. Actually, I am gonna ask somebody. Huh. Hello, uh, hey. do y'all sell candles? No. No? The uh, room candles, the three wick candles? Yeah. Three wick candles. Th three wick candles, okay. Like yeah, like smell, the ones that smell yeah. good. Where are they? I was told to come. Oh, here you go. Oh. Ah. Perfect. Three ninety nine. Can't awesome. beat that. Yes. Thank you so much. Okay. So these are the candles, guys. Let me get to smelling and see which one smells good. And they are three wick candles. Cool. All right. Hmm. Okay. That smells good. Hmm. That smells good too. Should I just get one of each? Make it easy for me. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna get one of each. Mmm. All right. Let's do it. Need a basket. All right, let me get a basket. <laughs> okay, y'all. Remind me to not go to all these anymore. That was uh no. Maybe I'm just too spoiled. First of all, like I said, it looked like oversized. It looked like a Walgreens. It did. <laughs> uh, secondly, they don't have baskets. They had baskets, but I had to pay a quarter for the basket. Like, why are y'all? Why are y'all making me pay for a basket? That's that, stupid. Thank you. Who does that, that makes no sense. I don't know. Maybe just because I live in the suburbs. I'm not used to that, but I have to pay a quarter for your basket. Then I get the quarter back at the end. Like, that is just weird to me. I'm sorry, but that's weird. Then, they don't bag groceries. Y'all don't bag groceries. Like, what? They have shopping carts sitting at the end of each register to where when she rings your stuff up, she puts it in a shopping cart. And you can bag your own stuff. And this bag right here... This paper bag cost me seven cents. So I had what? to. What? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yes, it cost seven cents. I had it to. Sounds good though. I bought a bunch of candles. Like some food or something. Oh, not well. No, nah, it ain't no food, baby. I bought candles, honey. Mm, it smells something like that. Um, so, anyway, like I don't know. I don't. I just didn't like that experience. And then she. But, but she bagged the guy's groceries behind me. So while I'm putting my stuff in the bag myself. I said, well, how come you didn't bag my stuff up like you bagging his? Mind you, this is my first time here, guys. She's like, oh, well, I'm not supposed to bag at all. The only reason why I bagged his stuff is just to keep the line going faster and faster. Yeah, right. Y'all hear my little commentator in the back? <laughs> she gonna always have my side. She gonna always have my back. Okay, all right, now I got another receipt to scan. Let me go ahead and scan this on Fetch Rewards. Get your points. If you
y'all hear a noise in the background, I'm listening to Tasha K. She's just my background noise. She's doing a, a little messy interview, so I'm trying to listen to it. But I'm going to do a little, uh, what's it called, haul with you guys. Show you what I got. First, we go to Aldi. And as I was checking out, I saw this right there at the checkout. It's just some coconut wine. This sounds so good. It has 14% alcohol, a blend of white wine with rich coconut flavor and finest cream. Right on top of the weekend. Then I got a bunch of candles. Um, they had six different fragrances. I got four of the fragrances. So I got Coco Cove, which is a coconut um, scent. I got Blood Orange and Permis Permission. Permission, however you say it. But it smells like Blood Orange. That's my favorite. Out of all of them, that one's my favorite. What? Vanilla is like my second favorite. Vanilla was really good. Then Gardenia. These were $3.99 each, y'all. $3.99. Once I burn them, I'm going to let you guys know how they smell. Because sometimes candles can be deceiving. I've bought candles where I'm like, oh my God, this is about to be like the best thing ever. And then it don't even smell up a, a, a two-foot room. Like, you, you got to be up on it just to smell it. baby crying i'm like who done it who done mess with mine oh lord she was outside trying to paint she was in the, laying in the grass with all her painting stuff trying to paint and a wasp kept coming messing with her all right what is this this is something from oh duh amazon Wow, this does not look like the picture. Oh, no, baby. This is Ashton, though. She'll be happy this came. Okay, I'm back again. So this is a chain that I bought to go on my purse, but it did not look like this. It did not look like this in the picture. Why it's looking all thin and po? Unless I unless this would it look like I, I thought I bought a thick chain. This looks so thin. Now, see, they don't they don't they don't they don't played me. Y'all see that? Look at it on the mannequin neck. And then y'all send me this little thin thing. Mm mm. Yep. I need my I need my refund. Let me show you guys my vision of what I had for my thick chain. My thick chain that I thought I was getting. I was going to put it like this on here. See, this don't even. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Out of line. Out of line. I mean, it's not. it don't look ugly, but it's not what I had in, in my mind. So that's what I was going to do with it. Do it like this. Put just a little chain detail. I think that's cute. Cute. But I want it thick. Because let me show you. They actually sell it. Uh, the Givenchy with the chain on it. Here you go. Look how freaking cute this bag is. It's just not the color that I wanted. That's why I got... See, look at that. That's what I was trying to do with the thick chain. But y'all sent me this. No, I need my refund. I, I, I need... I need my refund. I think this they try to charge me $12 for this little old thing. Y'all out of line. Anyway, moving on. Alright, something else from Amazon. Hold on. Is this the chain? Hold up. Oh, where are my scissors? Oh, this is the chain. 
Oh, see, hmm. disregard everything I just said two minutes ago. Okay, this is the chain. <laughs> you know what I did? I think I ordered this big one and then I ordered this thin one so I can decide which one looks better on the bag. That's what I did. But it says you can unsnap them easily. Let's see. Okay. And you're able to take links out and to just make it how you want to do it. So let me show you guys. Y'all, I can't believe I was freaking out for no reason. My, my old dumb self. Okay, so, yes or no? <gasps> this is gonna be cute. This is gonna be cute! <gasps> Y'all, it's giving. It's giving what it's supposed to give. <gasps> Look at this. Oh my gosh, it looks so cute. It looks like the picture. Now let me pull the picture back up. Look. Full price. And I paid $10 and put my own on there. What? What? Love it. Okay, so this, this little thin one is going back. I don't even know why I thought the little thin one was going to be cute. Cool, and then I have all this left over if I wanted to add it to like another purse. This is from Nordstrom. I already know this is my skim stuff. Well, like a skims item. Yeah, a skims item. I don't know why they sent my stuff in so many different orders. So. I'm gonna do a whole like skims haul for everything that I got because I got stuff from Nordstrom. I got stuff during the skims 50% off sale. I got so much skim stuff, it's literally ridiculous. So I'm just waiting on everything to come in and see what I'm gonna keep, what I'm not gonna keep, and then I'm gonna do a review for you guys. Be on the lookout. And this, I think this is from AliExpress and and my battery's about to die. Oh, yeah. I bought some little cheap uh, purses off AliExpress because I was like, I cannot find like the perfect nude, neutral color purse. So I was like, let me go on old handy dandy AliExpress and order. Ooh. Ooh, it stinks. Oh my God, it smells terrible. Okay, so this, is this gray? I thought this was like a tan color. But it's looking gray. No, it's, it's a, it's like a clay, not clay. It's, it's a, it's a new, it's like a neutral brownish grayish color. But I don't know if I like this. This looks so cheap. It comes with a strap. Um, wow, this looks really, Wow, it really stinks. Oh my God. It should stink. I guess it's a cute bag. Is this a dupe of something, y'all? Is this like a knockoff? Not a knockoff, a dupe, because it don't have a, a fake logo on here. Is this a dupe of another popular brand? I don't know. And then I think I bought the exact same one, just in a different shade. Or did I buy two of the exact same ones? Don't tell me I bought two of the exact same ones. Y'all don't play with me. Hold on, they sent two of these. I know I did not buy two. I know for a fact I did not buy two of the same damn bags. I know for a, I know I did not. I see that? That says camel, that says gray. I ordered two different color bags, but y'all sent me two of the exact same color bags. They are the exact. Look at that. Nothing camel, y'all sent two gray bags. Really? Oh, I need my $14 back. Good morning. Oh. Oh, oh, my hair is just looking. Good morning. <laughs> I am headed to a doctor's appointment right now. Um, I gotta get some blood work done because 
your girl got a procedure coming up i will go into more detail about it as time gets closer it's in three weeks so it's actually really close but i have a procedure coming up i'll let y'all guys know what i'm doing y'all know i'm always doing something but um, so yeah, I'm going to get the blood work done for that. And I'm also, I'm gonna let my doctor know that what we originally discussed, I kind of want to tweak it a little bit. So yeah, that's what I'm headed to. It is nasty outside, it's raining. I told y'all it's literally been raining for 40 days and 40 nights in Houston. This is crazy. And it's literally, if you go on Apple weather, it's for the next 10 days, it has rain next to every damn day so um yeah but i sleep good in it like literally last night i slept nine hours straight straight didn't wake up to pee did i wake up to pee i may have i don't know i don't remember but i slept so good i did not want to get out of bed this morning i'm like i could just lay here in the dark in this rain all day long but um so yeah, that's really all I have on my agenda for the day. I kind of want to hit up another Dee Dee's and try to find some more of the American Apparel leggings. I have some. I'm wearing a back pair now, right now actually, but um, I want to see if other Dee Dee's have. I only saw them at that one Dee Dee's um, a few days ago, so and they fit so good. Tall girl approved. They come all the way down to my ankles. They even bunch up a little bit. Come high waisted not see-through baby a must a must so i'm gonna see if i can find other colors i kind of want to get them in a medium also i, I have larges and they kind of stretch out so anyway if y'all have adidas in your area look for them i'm gonna put y'all down i might pick y'all back up while i'm at the dock i don't know i'm just getting blood work well now i gotta talk to the surgical coordinator too about changing some shit around so I'll be back. Blood work. Okay, okay, so you're gonna start taking these vitamins once a day of each after food to help you heal and help you not get sick. Uh, this is a soap you wash with the night before and the morning of. Okay. And then you can shower two days after the procedure. You're gonna wash the areas with the soap uh, for about a week afterwards. We're going to give you ibuprofen and Tylenol to alternate with pain medication, which we're going to send to your pharmacy. Okay. So we're sending two prescriptions, one for pain and one for nausea. So I'm going to get your pharmacy info before you leave. Okay. And then this is for swelling and bruising. It's Arnica. So oh, I'm going to okay. open it to show you. So you're going to start one the night before your procedure. This okay. is going to be right after your procedure once you get home. And then okay. this one's bedtime the day of your procedure. Okay. And then for three days after, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, until you finish it. Okay. And it has some instructions here. Okay. Right. For two days after, since you're doing lipo, mm -hmm. you'll just put like a little thin layer on each of the little lipo incisions. Okay. Let it dry, and then you don't have to cover them up anymore. Okay. So remember the lipo, uh, it drains for about 24 hours. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they'll have like the little pads on there to absorb it. Okay. And once you go to shower, it really shouldn't drain much after that. So okay. uh, you don't have to cover them up. If it's draining a little bit, then you can cover it. So if you don't have any, no you don't usually get nauseous, right? Mm -mm, no, I've never so had. So the day after your procedure, you're just going to drink one of these in the morning, one in the afternoon. Okay. My right. sister used, she sent me that last time she had something done. And she said like that this. that worked. She said she really yeah, likes it. Yeah. Everybody does. Yeah. I've noticed a lot of people get compliments. They'll put it on you afterwards. Oh, after the surgery. Okay. Yeah. Okay, just finishing at the doctor. Lord, uh, I got there at 11.30. It is now 1.30. When I tell y'all I'm hungry, hey, what y'all know about that? Ooh, I'm out of breath. When I tell you it was hot in his office for some reason. It's never, it's usually freezing cold in there. He has sweat on his um, surgical cap. Y'all, I'm getting surgery in three weeks. Oh my God. Okay, so let me just go ahead and tell y'all what I'm getting done. Oh, it is hot, like for real. I'm getting lipo to my arms. And I'm getting lipo to my thighs. These thighs are out of 
control. Out of control. So he's doing the um, my knees, my inner thighs, and the back of my thighs. And then he's doing my full arm. So, yeah. And then he said he's going to add a little bit of fat to the bottom of my butt. It's like a really small, like when I tell y'all a small area, like this, I need to look at it. I don't even think he charged me for it because my price is, my quote is so low. But, um... A little, a little small area on each butt cheek like right in the middle that's kind of like flat not even nothing that's like too horrible he was like it, literally it's only gonna need like 200 cc's like if y'all think about it in the grand scheme of things that that 200 cc's ain't shit because when i had my first bbl was 1500 cc's and my second bbl was 1200 cc's so 200 cc's ain't shit so it's just like to a little teeny tiny area um, at the very bottom of my butt. Um, so yeah, and I told him, I said, Dr. Doe, be very aggressive on these damn knees. My inner knees, I, I just hate how they look. I just, ugh. And he did my sister so good. He did hers about, I don't know, seven, eight months ago. It was it was like mid to end, end it was like mid 2020. But he did hers really good. And um, me and her kind of have like the same kind of thighs, like fat knees and shit. So, yeah, y'all, your girl getting arm and thigh lipo. Some of y'all, um, some of y'all uh, thighs don't match your ass. Y'all, y'all need goddamn a BBL to your thighs, and I'm trying to get rid of my thighs. So, y'all want this thigh fat to make y'all thighs match y'all ass? I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, Lord. These th One thing about it, though, my thighs are never going to be small. They're never going to be the size that I want them. Um, And that's just what I have to, like, deal with. Like, I just have to understand that. He told me, he was like, you naturally have very large thighs. He was like, it might not seem like he was like and you don't have that much fat underneath there which i was like that's crazy he was like you have a lot of muscle he's like it's a lot of muscle there is, is some fat he was like then you see a lot of the he's like you see the loose skin he was like there's nothing we can do for loose skin unless you get it cut off with thigh lift which i ain't doing i considered it but i ain't doing it but um he was like you just naturally have very large thighs he was like, we can make a difference, but it's not going to be like a huge, significant difference. Which I've been told this before. I've had thigh lipo done three times. This is going to be my fourth time having thigh lipo. So, and y'all see how massive these ham hocks are. Even when I was at my smallest, I had a dude tell me, he was like, I could eat Thanksgiving dinner off them thighs. And I was like 175 pounds. I'm like 210 now. So, but, um, so yeah, we are doing, wow. I'm having surgery in three weeks oh my god this is the bag that they gave me i i did film a little bit in there of like all the vitamins i have to start taking today they did my blood work um i was gonna pay today but i was like you know what let me let me just pay i'm one of them people if a if 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 a large amount of money is due i'm gonna wait till the very last minute to pay it my light bill my cell phone bill stuff like that i have an automatic bill pay my car no automatic bill pay but like my rent my rent is due on the first i always pay on the third always <laughs> this the full amount is due two weeks before surgery so i'm gonna pay next week because that'll be two weeks before surgery so oh lord so yeah I think I'm going to run in the Galleria real quick. I want to go to Chanel. I really want these freaking Chanel earrings. And I want some all black sneakers. I don't know if I want all black Chanel sneakers or all black Balenciaga. Let me answer this phone call, y'all. This FaceTime. too big can't fit the robe that's a damn shame all right 
just getting home, y'all. I have another more Skims packages. More Skims. I literally spent probably like $500 on Skims. But um, some of it is going back because like I said, I bought a bunch at Nordstrom online. And then the very next day, Skims had their big 50% off sale. So some of that will be getting returned. <laughs> um, let me show y'all the bag that I got from Versace. Y'all know I be having like buyer's remorse. This quick after, like buyer's remorse because the bags that I showed you guys from St. Laurent, those were the bags that I originally like wanted, had my mind on to get as like my nude bag. I told you guys that I've been wanting a nude bag. Nude or like tan for a while um, because technically the bags aren't nude. Nude is to me is like a really light cream color. Anyway, uh, this is the bag that I got from Versace. Let me show you guys. It's just their new collection, the Medusa medusa bag and it comes with that um chain so this is how the bag looks with the chain i really really like the bag but what is throwing me off and what threw me off inside saint laurent as well is just the shade of tan like there's so many different shades of tan that i'm like what's the right one to get I just don't know. They showed me one that I that had like a gray undertone. Then there was one that was like a really light color nude. Then this one is more like a camel, a camel color. You guys really can't see. I love, love this shade, but it's just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm one of those, literally every single bag that I buy, I have like a little bit of buyer's remorse right after. The only bag that I think I bought that I didn't have any buyer's remorse, probably my Chanel. Like every time I opened it, I was just like, oh my God, I'm so in love. Oh my God, I love it so much. My Chanel bag, but all my other bags, I had a little bit of like, do I really want this? Do I really need this? Do I really? <sighs> so... Anyway, Versace, they have a, they do not do returns. They only do exchanges or store credit. So any way it goes, the $2,700 that I spent on this, the $2,700 is gone. It's, it's gone. So, but I mean, I like it. I do. I do, but I don't know if it's like a classic, like a forever bag. You know what I mean? Like my Chanel bag, that's a forever bag. My Givenchy Antigona, that's a forever bag. My Louis Vuitton bags, those are forever bags. These, like these little mini YSL bags here, I have. I can't tell you the last time I even wore these bags. So, I mean, honestly, I will probably be selling these. I don't know when, but these will definitely be getting sold. Um, this Saint Laurent bag, this black on black, that's a forever bag. Um, this Prada, um, I'll probably sell that one day. But like my Louis Vuitton bags, like these are forever bags to me. I feel like this is a forever bag because this style has been around for ever. Like this is their signature style bag that's never gonna change, ever. You know, Chanel, classic, holds its value. I can actually probably get more money for this than what I paid for it. Um, so anyway this i just don't know if this is a forever bag it's like a just a right now bag and that's what's kind of making me be like damn i should have asked their return policy before i bought it i looked at their i just when i got to my car i looked at my receipt and i'm like oh shit 14 days exchange only or store credit and i'm like damn okay well it's mine remember i told you guys my kids love art so she's already about to she got her paint stuff right here she's about to go outside and paint we're gonna show you the art that i did first I made a skater boy, and his name is Ben. You did so good. Look at the way she even colored. And you didn't trace this at all? No, we didn't trace anything. And I, Ethan saw me dry. I, he saw me color. Wow, look and at I the saw eyes. Him. And then this little artist as well. You don't want to, you just put on the couch. You don't want to show it? His name is Chris. Me and Ashton just named him that for some reason. Yeah. Good job, sweetie. Y'all draw so good. And then we gave you both of them messy hair. I see. Okay, Come on. okay. but now we're about to go outside and do this. Painting. Painting. And I got my glass thing. 
You draw that? My man, my friend made me draw this. Oh, that's a black kid, looks like. He got, yeah, black he got hair like you. I know. <laughs> Dang, it is so good. Like Okay, I'm finally about to tackle my stuff. This pile. I think I already have pictures of most of the stuff. Some of the stuff I'm gonna have to try on and take pictures of, unfortunately. But most of it I think I have pictures of. I would say probably 70% of it I got pictures. 50%, I don't know. But I'm about to tackle it, y'all. I'm about to get as much done as I can. I'm trying to see now if my homegirl's gonna text me back to if she wants to go to eat tonight because I have reservations for James Harden's restaurants. All of my homegirls that I originally invited, um, they got stuff to do. They busy, so it's a bummer. Um, and it's so hard getting reservations at 13, like so hard. But let me tackle this because I'm gonna get on a little, I'm gonna start talking to y'all and then that's just gonna sit. And then once that's listed, then I can list my wigs. One thing at a time. So Gina, get focused.